been busy writing an article and uh, completely, completely almost forgot to make you a video. So this is going to be really, 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 really quick and tying into the article because I know some of you probably won't read it. Um, so the idea is that in your life, in your training, you're going to have the opportunity to train, let's say, three different styles. And these are very broad swath kind of styles. Um, and understand that there are an infinite degrees of variation and what I'm giving you is by no means the reality, it's simply a lens to, to look at your training through. Um, but you're going to have three different opportunities for training styles and some may suit you better than others. Or you may find a blend between the three, I personally find a balanced blend between the three works best. Um, we're going to find that training like a natural. Training according to to whim and uh, and desire. Uh, just going after the things you want. Just kind of working on you know just the repetition of fundamentals, basics, and just the, the basic skills that, that you're looking to, to improve. This this whimsy method, this more fractal method is where a lot of people start. You know, because they say, oh, I want to learn how to do that. So they just keep trying and trying and trying until they get it. So we'll call that the natural. Then over here on the other side, we'll call it the varsity athlete or the, the scholarship athlete. Um, because in this type of training, you've got access to the best coaches. You've got access to the best programs. You've got access to the best facilities and all of the you know, the, the, the insurance and medical and recovery and all that kind of stuff that goes with it, you are pretty much the professional. In fact, let's call it the professional. Um, because that's really what it is. You have gone from being in amateur I love it mode to the I need to do this because this is who I am mode. Um, this is what I identify with, this is how I identify, this is my life. Um, now, then we'll add in a third one, which I'm going to call the tactician or the scholar. Both are, are, are apt. Uh, scholar may be more, uh, more apt. And it's the idea of your cerebral training. See, as the professional, you're being fed your routines, your recovery, and all that by people who have walked those steps before, who frankly have been the scholars before, who have done the research and are giving it to you who are gifted. In fact, you may have been the natural at one point and you segued into the professional and you have the scholars who are uh, bolstering you. Now, as the scholar, your training tends to be more cerebral. This is where you start learning the ins and outs. Puppy, don't do that. No chewing on pillows. So, the, uh, the, the idea of the scholar is that you, you're doing the research, you're doing the homework, you are playing with every angle, every contingency, playing with the tactics, playing with all of the timing and leverage because by analyzing all of that, you can get a better grasp on the particulars of what works and what doesn't, how things flow together and how they don't. And so the, the three pieces of this all work well together. And understand that if you stay at any one piece, you are actually missing out on the ideas because you see, as the amateur, you're going on gut feeling, and while you get a lot done, you often build in bad habits as well, or the natural, rather, amateur works as well. When you're going to the professional, yeah, you, you gain a sense of what you're doing by sheer repetition, but you're being fed all of this stuff, so you never gain any footing underneath yourself. You don't have any foundation uh, of what you're doing and why you're doing it, because it's being put upon you as opposed to you logically picking your own choice. And then into the scholar, it's of course easy to go into paralysis by analysis. You 
sit there learning and learning and learning, accumulating information. There are people in martial arts who accumulate forms. Uh, becoming a collector of information only will take you so far until you can implement that information. It does you no good. So you need the heart and drive of the natural. And you need you know, and perhaps it's the, the least important and the most sought after, you need the resources of the professional, but then you also need the mind of the scholar. And if you can work those three in together into a flow, a cycle, or a balance, then you will be doing yourself very much a very strong favor. That's all I got for you tonight, and I will talk to you guys later. Good journey.